the president of the far-right Heritage Foundation swears that he is not a conspiracy theorist after coming out and endorsing a conspiracy theory. In an interview with the New York Times reporter, Lulu Garcia Navarro, Kevin Roberts, embraced the unsubstantiated claims for Trump's loss in 2020 that it was voter fraud. Ah, yes, voter fraud. Asked directly by Garcia Navarro if he believes that Biden had won the election, which he did because he's president. Roberts bluntly replied, no, before being pressed on his answer, at which point he proved unable to offer any evidence to support his claim because they don't have any. Uh, here's how that went. Garcia Navarro asked, can you tell me why? Roberts replied, sure, I think there are unknowns. I don't know the outcome, but that's why I can't say yes definitively. And I'm no conspiracy theorist at, at all, as some of the election integrity people on the right will tell you. Ah, yes, you ask the people who are balls deep in conspiracy that they can't prove whether or not he's a conspiracy theorist. And they'll tell you no. Oh, what a trustworthy group of people. Oh, wonderful. Yes, just ask them. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, now, he continued. There's still a lot of unknowns in two counties in Arizona, multiple counts in, counties in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Is it possible he won? Sure. But can I say definitively that he won? No. Having said that, I was very vocal at the end of 2020 and early 2021 that that's what we knew and the election needed to be certified. And so let's move on. Hold on here. Okay, so his contention is Biden didn't win. He's not the legitimate president. Uh, and yet, you're saying, well, since I don't know the, yes, sure, I, I don't believe the, you know, president is legitimate here, uh, that we have a legitimate government, but you know, let's move on. Huh? Now, if you actually believe that, you would be calling to move on. That, that, see, that's how you can tell this man is a fraud. He's bullshitting you, all right? He's, he knows he's got nothing, no evidence, right, at all. In fact, Garcia Navarro told him pretty much every bit of evidence has shown that there was no substantial fraud. He responded with, well, we have an election fraud database at Heritage that shows a lot of instances of fraud. What I'm not saying is that the examples in that database prove that Biden didn't win. I'm not certain that he won. Okay, so this is, uh, again, trying to walk this line, okay? Let's be clear, though. Let's get to the facts. Did voter fraud happen? Yeah, of course, it did. Did it happen in large enough quantities to change the outcome of the election? No, it did not. You see, the amount of voter fraud that actually happens is infinitesimally small. It's never enough to change the outcome of an election, right? Voter impersonation, for example, incredibly uncommon. Uh, voting multiple times, it's also very rare, and there are reasons for that, right? Uh, it's very rare to find someone who did voter fraud on purpose is because there are some very significant penalties for it. Also, we have systems in place that ensure that these people get caught. And oftentimes, let's be honest too, most of the time that this happens, it's usually because of a, of a mistake, it's, it's human error. So most of the cases, for example, in Florida, that Governor Ron DeSantis brought against people doing the voter fraud were dismissed. So they didn't actually have a case against them. There's no concerted deep state effort to do voter fraud, election fraud. That's just not a reality. That said, I have no doubt that he has a database. It's probably pretty small though. And as I've talked about before on the show, a lot of Trump voters in there. That's just doing a lot of the actual voter fraud. <laughs> so, that said, this guy is an absolute coward in, on his position. He knows he's bullshitting you, but at the same time refuses to commit fully to the lie. Oh, I don't know if, if Biden actually won the election. Uh. Beta bear, beta. Oh, say what you will about Donald Trump. And I do. I say a lot of bad things about Trump. Uh, but one thing is he's committed. He's committed to the lie. He knows he's full of crap. But at least he's got the balls to go all in on his lie. Not this mealy mouth. Oh, I don't really know. I've got a database that proves absolutely nothing. 
and he admits that he proves absolutely nothing, but still goes on with this ridiculous contention that, ah, uh, you know, I, I just don't think, uh, I, I just don't think the election uh, was won by uh, Joe Biden. But uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Look, the real reason he's doing this, in my opinion, is because he wants to stay on Donald Trump's good side. Yeah, of course, because he gets a lot of the policy wins when Donald Trump was in power, right? And he'll get a lot more wins if Donald Trump wins this election. And that gets us to, of course, Heritage Foundation's Project 2025, which grants the executive uh, branch tons of power, nearly unchecked power over federal agencies. And so this guy's going to say whatever he can to ensure that his Agenda 2025, or Project 2025, gets enacted. That's it. That's what he wants, because it would be a huge boon to the conservative movement and basically end in a fascist takeover of the United States. That's what it is. So, yes, he wants to stay on Trump's good side. He also doesn't want to get in too much trouble being an election denier. He wants to be one of those people that it's like, I'm just asking questions. So if he expresses enough doubt, of course, MAGA faithful will not call him a rhino. Or cons and, and, you know, the other side will say, well, he's not a conspiracy theorist, right? He's just asking questions because he's not sure. No, no, that's pretty sure that's not going to turn out the way that he wants to. Uh, this guy, in my opinion, is an absolute fraud. He's a bullshitter. He's a conspiracy theorist. Uh, and this is doing what he can to ensure that Project 2025 continues on schedule.